Hey, welcome back. It's been a few weeks since my last using Emacs video. Uh, made a couple of changes to configuration, but nothing big. Uh, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I, I moved things into a temporary file um, so that I could uh, keep the um, my configuration clean. I figured I'd start moving things over. I changed my mind for that. Um, what I ended up doing is um, actually copying all that stuff into stuff to refile as I do more screencasts so you can take a look at it and I'll move it over as um, you know over the course of time um, so some of this stuff is pretty straightforward like uh, you know username email address um, these are setting keys so if I do escape escape C it'll load up my configuration file um, escape escape L will load up my links and escape escape I my org file um, so those are a couple of uh, shortcuts that I've done I'll, I'll move those over then there are a few things that um, I'll cover more explicitly so these guys here I'm not going to cover much I'm just going to move them somewhere it just means that if I type escape escape C it'll just load this file. So it's a little shortcut that I like using. Um, I really use escape, escape I more than anything else. Brings up my um, my main org file that I use for organizational stuff. Let's just get rid of that for now. And um, some of the other ones I'll, I'll talk about, um, you know, like here I've got Babel, which I'll talk about when using org mode for running code. This projectile thing I'll talk about later on and a few other things as well. But what I wanted to talk about today was uh, something um, something called tramps, something that lets you edit files, um, two things. One, it lets you edit files on other servers and it also lets you do some other cool stuff. So um, this was uh, requested by some of you guys out there. Um, I actually don't use tramp very much um, and I don't use it much, I use it even less now uh, than when I, I used to use it more when I was doing administration across many machines. Um, but it's still really cool and still really useful for a few things. So one of the things you can do is, uh, I've got a terminal here somewhere, yes. And um, here I can SSH to another machine. Just one of my machines that I have. It's actually a digital ocean droplet. And I've got this um, directory called SC and I got this file called test file on it. And let's say I want to edit this file. Um, one of the things I could do is I could uh, come over to here and edit it locally, but then I don't have all the coolness of the um, Emacs GUI and I don't have all my packages unless I built the configuration there. I could use another editor. Um, I, could, I could do a number of different things to get this to work, but none of them are that good. Um, one tool that I really like is something called SSHFS, uh, which lets me remotely mount an entire file system over SSH. So if I'm doing a lot of editing on a file system, I'll do that. But um, Emacs has this thing called Tramp. And Tramp is really cool. Let me just kill this buffer. Yeah. Um, so the way you use Tramp is, um, I don't know how to make that bigger down there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, basically, I start at the root and I type, I want to go via SSH colon, and then where I want to go to, www.csty.org colon, and then um, if I do slash, it's an absolute directory. If I don't do slash, it's going to be relative to my home directory. And if I want to specify a username, I could do Zamansky at, but since I'm already Zamansky, that's my login. I don't have to do that here. And we'll go to SC and test file. It was called test file, right? And let's cat test file to see what's in it. And um, this is a test file. And here I can be like, well, okay, and I added some stuff. Save it. And I added some stuff. So I'm actually editing it remotely, which is really kind of cool. Um, I can also, let's kill this buffer, and let's do something else. Let's go to um, ssh colon www.csty.org and colon and just hit enter and I get this dir this diared buffer and so I can go here I can open this I can go to um, test file open that and here I am again and added yet more stuff save it and added more stuff so you can use all of the cool things that you're doing locally um, under Emacs but on a remote machine and you can even do stuff like this you can um you normally I would say you could use a shell, but that won't work here. If I do escape x shell, um, 
actually, well, I wouldn't do it here because I don't have Bash installed on that machine, but um, bin Bash. But if I run bin bash here, uh, it doesn't quite work right. It tries to run things, Z shell not working. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, but that's because I'm running Z shell on my machine and over here on this remote machine, I don't have Z shell installed. But if I run, if I hadn't installed, it would work. But I can certainly run E shell. And you'll see here that I'm on the remote machine uh, doing my editing here and doing my stuff. And I can do like a find file, let's find file of root file, um, and now we're in this root owned file, and notice that it is read only, but we'll come back to that. So another cool thing we can do is, let's kill some buffers here, is I also have here under temp sc, I've got this file here owned by root, and I also have another local file, doesn't matter, so if I just try to visit this file, temp, temp uh, sc, local root, it's read only, I can't do anything here. But a cool thing about tramp is what I can do is I can open using sudo, and I do two colons here, so it's a little bit different, temp se local root, ask me for my password, and now I'm editing a root file. Save it and bang, you're done. And a final thing we can do with this is what if we want to, let's go back to our machine over here, and I've got this file, root file owned by root, so I wanna do a remote root edit, and this is very useful. Um, you do something a little bit different. I actually had to look this one up. So what you do is SSH, um, Ah, uh, what is it? Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, colon, colon, uh, colon www.csty.org, that's where the machine is. But then I have to pipe that through sudo, colon, www.csty.org, and then we'll do home Zamansky sc root file. And it's asking me for the root password. And so now here we have this owned by root, and I'm adding some stuff. Now before I save it, let's cat root file. Save it. Still owned by root, but now I'm editing it root remotely. Really, really, really cool stuff. Uh, also, one other thing here suggested by one of um, one of the viewers. Um, I'm now trying the Mo theme, which. Um, I'm, I'm liking it. It's kind of a um, little bit different, but uh, but I'm definitely enjoying using it. I'm liking the color mix, um, and I'm liking that everything seems to be visible, even when I use things like uh, code blocks or um, uh, or Magit or stuff like that. But anyway, this has been Tramp for remote editing and pseudo editing. Really useful. Um, one little word of warning is uh, you might have some issues. I use Z Shell and it's working fine with all the versions I'm using, but. A while ago, I had troubles with it. Uh, it would just freeze up on me. And if you just do a search on Z Shell Tramp, if that does freeze up on you, uh, you'll find here that it says, uh, you know, just do a search for Z Shell. Um, you, know, you can try adding this into your Z Shell RC file, and that could help. Or this one here is a little bit more, um, a little bit more in depth, but that should solve your problem. So, Tramp, check it out if you're either doing uh, periodic edits as, um, as root and you want to get the full power of your Emacs configuration using sudo on that, or if you're editing stuff on remote sites. So, enjoy.